Okay, guys, this is a, a video I'm going to be making. I'm going to call it Things I Helped the Government Build That Were a Waste of Money. And here we are today at the El Camino Real Historical Monument, which is a museum they built in honoring the El Camino Real, which is a it's a uh, piece of uh, it's a road that went from basically Las Cruces all the way to Santa Fe to help you explore it. And when I mean help build, I brought in materials to this site to help them build it. And I brought in these bricks. I didn't bring in all of them, but I brought a lot. And I brought in the wood beams. I brought in a lot of stuff to build this thing. And now, look at it. This thing costs millions and millions of dollars to build. I know that the state government put in, what is it, uh, two or three million. It's really difficult to get materials out here because it's nowhere. I'm really like four miles off of the uh, dive floor that way. And here's, the, here's the museum now. Here you go, right there. It's all locked up. It's all locked up, you can't get in there. It's all closed. So I know that, uh, what was it? Uh, the federal government spent millions out here. I don't know exactly how much. And the state government spent millions. And they had this huge celebration, like celebrating this thing. And they were supposed to project it to get like, I think it was like 80,000 people a month. And when they closed it, they got like 8,000 people a year that would come all the way out here. And it was suggested at the time when they built this, should build it probably 20 miles north of Socorro. But they picked this piece of BLM mine out here. It's completely empty. And as you saw back there, you can't even get in the museum because it's been closed for years now. This is the parking lot now. See, there's the interstate, if you can see it, four miles off the road. And you can't even see this thing. It's so far off the road that if you didn't know it was here and know where to look, you can't see it. But I'm going to go down, I'm going to walk through this and show you some cool stuff that uh, I saw them building when I was coming for materials. Sorry about the clip. Let's uh, go take a look. Okay. On the back side of the museum, you used to be able to walk all through here and all that stuff. I actually never went into this museum when it was open. I just delivered materials out here. But look at this, uh, this huge artistic thing they built. It sticks in the middle of this cliff. It's really neat. I've been to museums all over the country. I, I mean, I have never hesitated to go to a museum. I love museums. I go to them. But uh, there's the El Camino Realis down there. You see a full group bed down there. And um, fun fact, fun fact, they actually, it's a big battle during the Civil War. The Confederate Army went up this canyon. And over there, on the other side of that mesa over there, the uh, Union Army has a head of army base out here, or a fort. And they interdicted them. And the, con the uh, Confederates knew that there was an air army base over here. So they went up over the plateau over there and tried to circle around them. Came out on the other side and uh, the Union went in and kicked their ass. And then, um, so that's some fun facts about the area, but the El Camino area is right down there. And this was built to tell people about the El Camino Real, which is a very historical trail that they used to you know, set up in New Mexico. A lot of stuff. I, I'm not even going to give it justice and try to explain what they did here on it. But it was a very important thing. And I get paid thousands of dollars to bring materials out here so they could build this damn thing. At the time, I was doing flatbed work. And I brought out just loads of bricks out here. And now this bitch is closed up. Completely closed. <laughs> See, no trespassing, danger, do not enter, all that fun stuff. But you can walk around here, take a look at it. And it's just a, another thing that I've been involved in, in trucking. And I took the money. I love the money hauling out here to build this thing. And it's dead. Just a 
million, very, uh, they spent millions of dollars to build a dead museum when everyone told them not to build it out here. And that's just, to me, another sign of why I think the government is not a good steward of our cash. So I'm gonna jump in the car. I go to the next site, which is on the way home. And I brought some materials to this next site. It's pretty cool, it's still in use. But uh, let's go to that place and I'll show you the next, uh, next thing I helped build. That was a complete waste of money. All right, guys, so I'm behind, right what I got behind me is the Galactic Virgin Atlantic replica uh, thing. Cause I'm out here at uh, Spaceport America. And this is one of the projects I worked on that I consider was complete waste of money. It's the um, Spaceport America. I got paid once again, thousands of dollars to bring material out here. I brought out 10 loads of roofing material for the big, uh, looks like a fifth wheel plate to me, um, which is their, I think like Virgin Galactic's big ass hanger. But um, this is one of the examples that I've seen in my life that they spent between 14, I, I think it's between 14 and $20 million to build this thing in the middle of nowhere. It was extremely difficult because they're, it's so far from everything. They had to set up cement plants, uh, make their own on-site concrete. So they had to set up concrete plants out here, uh, find water. They had to tie, tie up into, a, I think, an old uh, Santa Fe well from the steam engines to get the water to build this place. And um, mostly it sits empty and unused. It's, it was a complete waste of money. Um, that guy from Virgin, uh, for Virgin Records or whatever, Sir Richard Branson, I think is that guy's name. He basically convinced the state of New Mexico to come out here, build this big ass runway, and it sat empty for like 10 years. And really the only thing that's going on out here that's worth a damn, I'll show you right now. I'm gonna go show you as close as I can get to something that actually is going on out here that's worth you know, the money being spent on. So um, let's go to the next location. Now the next location I had no part in, just so we're clear. Just something I, I, I've been keeping track of because I'm really into the space stuff. And um, we're gonna go take a look at something that is worthwhile going out here. All right. Okay, so here's something out here that is privately funded that I guess is gonna work, but uh, this is called Spin Launch, and this is about as close as I can get to it to where you can see it. But um, yeah, that's that's something that's probably gonna, is privately funded and going to work, unlike Amer uh, Spaceport America, which to me is just a big waste of money. So when I get back to a place, let me finish this up back on the main road. Okay, so let me go through why I think what we saw was a complete waste of money. Um, the reason I think Spaceport America is a complete waste of money is because it's a big, huge airport that no one can fly a plane into. The only people that can use it is Virgin Galactic because they need it for the big mothership thing to land and take off. Um, it sat basically empty for about, I don't know, seven, eight years. Now, I have been to Virgin Galactic in Mojave, and there's a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, I've, I've looked around there. Uh, a friend of mine works there, and I'm not just bad-mouthing space travel. I'm just saying that private industry is a better steward of the money than public interest is because... That airport wouldn't be there unless we came up with, I looked it up on my way to drive home, it's 209, almost 210 billion, million dollars to build that thing in the middle of nowhere. And it's still not being fully used. To operate that airport, there's a 1% sales tax. So when I bought this car here, this car right here, that's my wife's car. When I bought that car, they charged me 1% sales tax on that car went to the uh to run that airport that has a fully functional fire department has a security team to keep you from getting close to it because testing is taking place 
and not one airplane can fly into it because it's restricted airspace because of it's a test facility. Two hundred and nine million dollars to build an airport that no airplanes can fly into. That spin launch thing, it might not work. Privately funded though. And as you can see, I think they spent like almost five million dollars building that building that I brought the bricks into. Um, they didn't listen to the assessments by the people and they went ahead and shut it down because it needed like 80,000 people a month to visit it and it was so far off the road no one could get to it. I appreciate the government giving me money to uh, to go and build buildings in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I, I took the money, I spent it. I took care of my family with it. It's just not a very wise way to spend it. So if you've gotten this far, thank you for watching my video. I guess this is a rant on money wasting. Um, maybe in a couple of weeks when I'm tri driving. The, 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 okay, we'll give you an update real quick. The next thing to come up is I'm taking this out for a road trip. Um, beginning of July, it will be the 76th anniversary of the Roswell crash. My friend's flying in. And the weekend before 4th of July, we're going to go for a road trip. So that should be the next video. should be a road trip video. Got a little distracted ADD moment. I apologize. But uh, thank you for watching. And uh, there's also going to be an update on uh, coming up here in a couple of days on trucking vlogs. So stay tuned for that. Uh, there's been a lot of big life changes. I'm going to make a special video just for the life changes that I'm experiencing. So um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Thank you.